Hello everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you ML Mercedes ML350. I have an engine light on and uh, after hooking up the scanner, I found out the problem. Like old saying, sharing is caring. So I always thought about sharing with you guys. Not only that it can save you some money, but it will save you a headache. Hook up the scanner, I will show you the code, what I'm saying it and how we can fix it. The issue, the problem, I'm going to show it to you. If you found this video to be helpful, like always, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And without wasting your time, let's get started. As you can see, the check engine light is on. And uh, let's hook up the scanner and we'll see what the problem is. This is the scanner I'm using it. I'll show you. It's uh, right underneath the place we're going to hook it up. So we're going to open it. This is the plug-in. We're going to plug in as you see we plug in the scanner let's start to link so this is the code it picks up it says uh, p0410 code is stored now it shows a permanent it's a scanner air injection system it's showing pending and i'm going to show you how we're going to fix it and then i'm going to raise the codes so the next step will be i'm going to pop open the hood We're going to lift up and we're going to open it. So after the inspection, what did I found out and that I wanted to share with you? I will close in and I will show you. This connector was open. Put it in and press it. It locks in its place. I'm going to push it back. Now, the question is how that connector came out. God knows, I don't know how the connector came out. And uh, I was just checking that if the pump is uh, bad, I was trying to locate the part number so I can order a new pump and we can fix the issue. When I looked at that, the wire connector was off. So we're going to start it. See the check engine light is on. So now we're going to go back on the scanner and we're going to erase the codes because it's a stored now permanent. So now we need to shut off the engine and we're going to erase the codes. So erase was successful, there is no more codes. So now we're going to start it. And as you see, the check engine light disappeared. So as you've seen it, it was very easy and a simple fix. If you have your check engine light on, so don't disregard this issue. So make sure that connector is plugged in. I'm going to see you soon with another video. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.